Yo, what's up, this is Ben with Digital Dreams, and today we have a very specific video for you for homeowners associations, and we're gonna show you two installs that we've done, one recent, one in the past, of um, examples of how you can monitor your entrance gate to a housing community, or if you don't have a gate, just every car coming in and out of your neighborhood. So the first part you're gonna see is a pole that we installed in um, Vallejo, California. And this pole, <clears throat> this pole actually has um, a standalone. There's no, for this community, there's basically no uh, like clubhouse or something, right? You know what I mean? So there's not like a, a, a location where we can get internet and power from. So this is a standalone pole all by itself on the corner of the entrance of the community. And this pole um, will house five cameras, two license plate readers, two viewing cameras and then one fisheye camera to get the whole view. And we had an electrician bring power into our junction box and in that junction box, we also have a cradle point which gives the cameras internet. And that's how you can remote in and watch these cameras without having any other internet provider or router or anything on site. So that's the one installation that we have going on there. <clears throat> the second installation is in Dublin, California. And this one's a different case. This one has a entrance, two entrance gates motorized in and out and they're constantly having problems with people driving in through the gate, the, the gate hitting a vehicle and like damage, damage the vehicle and someone's putting in a claim saying your gate damaged my vehicle. But most of the times it was someone tailgating. Someone drove through, the gate starts to close and then another car is coming through and then the gate hits them, right? So these cameras are used specifically to catch those incidences and then prove it, you know, what happened, was it a gate malfunction? Which that's also has happened too, right? So they know if the gate broke or if another person tailgated in. So this this shot right here, these five cameras that we have going on right here, we have a CF81 Bricotta Fisheye. We have two CB 4K um, 61 bullet cameras and we have two CB 61 telephoto cameras for the license plate readers. They all mount to that pole that pole is 12 feet in the air, three feet in the ground with 12 inches of concrete around that pole. So the thing's solid, it's not going anywhere. They had the electrician uh, bring power in from this uh, power junction box that feeds the neighborhood. And then we put a 12 by 12 by six junction box on the back of that, which houses a POE switch, which can live in that, <clears throat> which can live inside that junction box with um, really high temperature. So I think it'll, it can work at 160 degrees Fahrenheit and work as low as um, I think like negative 10 or something. I have to look at the specs for that, but there's a switch in there made to be, you know, not in the weather, but in an enclosure where it gets hot and cold. And then we have a cradle point, which is bringing internet into that device, which is by Verizon. And there's an external antenna that just comes out of the box and sits on top to bring the Verizon hardwired into the cradle point. And then inside there, we have one more device which is a net booter where I can actually log in through the crater point and reboot the POE switch remotely in case I need to um, service or restart one of the cameras without having to make a trip down. So this, this system is really cool, it's really powerful. We'll show you a couple of views of what the cameras look like that they show you and how it works. And it's the same system over at the other location on Dublin that has a motorized gate. So doing the same thing, uh, catching every car that comes in, every plate that comes in and seeing, you know, seeing what it's doing, right? Here's the gates. So they have an entrance gate and exit gate. We're only covering the license plate readers on the entrance gates. So every car that comes in, this is where we're checking. And then they have these second arms right here, which are also been uh, broken when people tailgate. So someone hits the code, they drive in through the gate, the second car goes through, and then this other little arm right here falls down, smacks the car and breaks. And that was the main reason. This location actually has power dedicated down here from the gate and they actually have a Comcast modem. So they actually have hardwired internet on both these gates at two locations over here in Dublin. Um, so those ones, that's how that site works. But if you didn't have that option, 
and you didn't have hardwired internet, that's when you would go with the cellular option that we did on the Vallejo location. So this site right here, this pole, they had an existing pole that um, had about 12 different cameras on it. And we ripped up the old analog system. We put in this new IP system, uh, but this was a, an upgrade, ripping out an old system, putting on a new system. And that's how we um, got that stuff working over there. Basically, it just catches every car coming in and out and catches a plate so that way you can go to the authorities if something went wrong or, you know, sometimes it's just a gardener coming through and they hit the gate or something. They just need to know who came through and broke the gate. So it's a very powerful tool for a homeowner association. So check it out. If you guys need it, hit us up on our website. See you guys in the next one. Later.